In this video, I'm going to show you uh, two ways you can create reading lists in your Canvas course shell. I'm sure OTL also has this information, so if you need more information, you can contact OTL or you can contact me and I can help you create a reading list. The first method is to go to a module, and I'm using one of my classes here, and just click on the plus. So whatever module you want your, your reading or readings to show up in, click on the plus on the module. And then you want to pick external tools from the menu. And then you can see that library sources is one of the choices here. And that's what we want to use. So I'm going to click on library resource. And this is actually going to open up the library's discovery layer for a search. So I can do a quick search here and I'll search for the soft drink industry using a NAICS code. And it found a bunch of stuff, 49,000 articles. I'm going to click on this little double arrow over here so I can see my limiters over here on the left-hand side. And um, this first one is from 2022. It's an industry report. I want to add that as a reading, so I'm just going to click on the plus. And now when I'm back on this screen, you can see it put it in a URL for me. I need to click Add Item. And now it's put the item into my module. To add another item, I need to go back, plus, library resources, and I need to repeat my search. And again, I'm going to open up my limiters. This time, I want a uh, academic article on the soft drink industry. And um, let's see, let's just pick sugar sweetened beverages in China. So I'm going to add that, follow the same steps. I need to then add the item and put my URL in there. I'll add the item. And now I have two readings in my Canvas shell. And if I click on these, it should open right up within Canvas, which is kind of nice. Okay. The other way to create a Canvas reading list is a little different. Just There are pros and cons to, 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 to these methods, and you can see with this one, you create a list of stuff. You can edit the titles, so you can make the titles a little more uh, responsive and useful. Um, I can put in the word readings. And like I said, it can move them from module to module, uh, create a module with just readings, but it's always this sort of format. I can click directly on the link, open that article up in a Canvas window, which is very nice. The other thing to do is just to create a page, any old page, and I'll go to my overview page here. And I've already got a reading section. So here's a bunch of readings I added already. And I'll edit this page and show you what to do. So while I'm on a page, I can add readings by using the permalink. So when this gets all ready to allow me to edit, we'll make this a little bigger. So I can come down here and add a new reading. And I do that by searching through the library databases. I can use our, our um, discovery layer here, and I can search the same thing. The nice thing about searching this way through our systems is you get the full screen, the limiters don't disappear on you and all that stuff. So I can pick this same Barnes report, but what I want to do this time is take a look at this Barnes report and from this page find the permalink and copy the permalink. Yeah, copy. Go back to my Canvas page and now here I can type anything. And I'll highlight some of the words here. 
tell the system this is an external link. So it's going to use my text for the header, and then I'll paste in my permalink, say done. Okay, now I have my permalink in there, and I'll just save this page and show you what this does. It's going to be a little different. So now when I click on this link, it's going to open up in a new tab using that permalink. And yes, if you're off campus, you are going to have to log in. And there we go. It's opened up the page for me. And now I can click on the PDF and go to the full report. So those are the two ways you can create reading lists in Canvas that I know of. And if you have any questions on doing this and you need some help doing it, I'd be more than happy to help. Thanks a lot.